me and Freddie and my team in Vancouver, and we were able to really focus on some things. Watching it a couple times so far this round. Good left hand by Khan. Right hand by Khan. Good stiff jab. Doubles up with the left hand. Does Amir Khan. Khan steps in with power. Being used to great effect here. It's not so much that he's outspeeding Malinaji. Maybe he is. They look comparably fast to me. He's in round number one. Watch Amir Khan right there. Touches Malinaji with the left. Right hand comes in over the top. As the sense you got in round number one matches Malinaji was Malinaji's camp believes that Khan has a tendency to reach with his punches that Malinaji would start off fast build a lead and make Khan increasingly no desperate punch, and no increasingly punch. easy no to punch, hit 40 pound title on the line tonight Victor Ortiz an easy 10 round decision against Nate Campbell He holds his hands low. Very nice poise. Steps in with a combination. Even though he's a defensive fighter, his reaction is to throw right back. He's a very tough guy, Malinaji. No, 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 no. Even nicer, he's just 23. You mean Khan? Khan. Yeah. <laughs> Not having to worry too much about what's coming back at him. Malinaji ducked away. That I just have lapses. Tonight he cannot have any lapses against Amir Khan. Malinaji 5 of 42. Malinaji opens up. To Pauly because he won a couple rounds and then maybe gave a round or two away. In this case. Good. No blood. Punch out on here. Punch out. Malinaji touches him to the left. It landing his own shots. Seeing as how. Where is the circle? The circle? He's not used to that ring at all. And Amir Khan can't miss him. No movement. He's just standing in front of him, and Amir Khan's pounding on him. So Malinaji to bounce all around Khan. To Harold's point about the jab, combination there from Khan. Juan Diaz, when he's coming to get you all the time. He's just as fast and may have better timing. Foundation, solid. Right, the idea. There, there Malinaji had some moments with the left hook. Well, as I mentioned, he can prove that he has a boxing ability in outboxing. Malinaji <laughs> seems to be having his best success when he muscles Khan around the ring a little. One of the things going into this fight was could Malinaji comfortable for Khan stylistically. Doesn't seem like Harold's point, Malinaji hasn't been very fleet-footed this fight. He's with another good defensive boxer. Khan is presenting here to Malinaji. And you know when Malinaji just got knocked down, Max, left hook to the body. Yep. That when you look at that again on replay, we'll show it to you in between rounds. He was taking a breather after a body shot. It was not ruled a knockdown by Steve Smoger because they got entangled as Malinaji held on. Probably couldn't beat Koto on any day. In November of 08, controversial loss to Juan Diaz. But in his last time out against Diaz in the rematch, as he did in the first fight, he staked out the middle of the ring more. That was a strategic decision. 50%. Now, Max, it was an interesting point that you made. In the second Diaz fight, which Malinaji won a unanimous decision,
decision. I don't even know. If, I, I don't think he fought as well as he did in the first fight. A lot more inconsistencies. And we've seen at the time it seemed as though up too much ground. He could keep Diaz more firmly in the middle of the ring. And to Harold's point again, in boxing, it's not like baseball where you get to see a guy hit 600 times a season. You know, 238 rounds as a pro. Malinaji had a good amateur career, so there's a lot of miles on the track. Even look, to go back to the positioning of their hands, that straight jab. Malinaji able to connect there. To jump out to a lead, as I mentioned, and make Khan get desperate in reach. What's plan B? How do you lure him into those traps? Maybe a function of his lack of punching power. Khan has left him speechless to this point. 60 to 54, Amir Khan. Well, he's got huge sponsorship deals in England. So what does Khan do in that sixth round? Yeah, he does have a lot of moxie. He is willing to try to change the course of a fight, roughing up his opponent. But as you mentioned, he doesn't have the power to see it through. Europe and are tested. In control. Scores with a combination. Great guy. Oh, class act. Class act, great champion. Good stiff jab from Khan again. See how he deals with the ropes. There's been no pressure on Khan. Easy for Amir Khan right now. Like that. A long distance boxing match. It was Khan. Here you see the jabbing contest. Khan being able to jab from a preferred distance with the longer reach. He's controlled the action through the first seven rounds. Big favorite going into this fight is hit, you know, is the one thing that Malinaji's not positioned to exploit. With Malinaji. But it almost sell job to keep him. And of any young fighters watching right now, because uh, they can see the action better, they feel that their punch is middle of the ring. Khan is flying Malinaji's head. Happening primarily because Malinaji's hands are down. And to pick punches off. Doesn't look as cool, I know, but it, it works. Doesn't look as cool to, but it works. Khan's temperament. I know he's got a lot of oh, I mean, publicity around him in England and everything, but he's pretty reserved when you talk with him. And he's got a great trainer. You made a baseball, Alan. He ain't a home run hitter. After the third round, when Malinaji is up on his toes, he's harder to hit. He really doesn't have much head movement, as you see there. He has a little upper body movement. He has one pet move where he ducks down to his right, but otherwise has never really avoided punches with head movement. He avoids it with his feet. He feels that when he's bouncing on his toes against Khan, well, then he's betwixt the between. No matter which style he picks, he's losing. One of the and this goes for many trainers, Freddie Roach, Emmanuel Stewart, the top guys. And well, he says they'd like a guy like Mike. Maidan is a big harder. puncher, and the thought has been that Khan's really just beating Paulie up. Fought with the orbital, fractured orbital bone against Kodo. He never has. I mean, at some point, if you're the corner, you look out for the guy and you say, you know what, this is enough of a beating. Clean shots in this fight than he did against Ricky Hatton and his corner stopped the Ricky Hatton fight. You know, Sharif Yunan has done a really good job of getting Malinaji back to what he does best, but... The headshots are really precise, and there are a lot of them from Khan. He's still standing in the middle of the ring, getting off first, laying in a perfect, beautiful, hard, effective shots. I mean, Malinaji defensively has certain flaws, even though he hasn't been much, hit much. He, ba he backs straight up in the line instead of stepping around at times. Exploiting some technical deficiencies of Malinaji. A Campbell over 10 rounds. And Amir Khan has picked off, left off. Totally whitewashing Paulie Malinaji. Was there a miscalculation with the two young stars, Khan and Ortiz? 
They were matched perfectly. But they both deserve credit. No talking for Molinaro, you know that stuff. That's it, that's what you do. Technically totally outclassed by Khan, at least on paper. Want to get your fighters' confidence back. And against Katelnik and Malinaji, here I would say no. The win for Paul is not worth the risk. And uh, now, I think the corner is not looking at this realistically. Like, they're asking him to do something he's not, he doesn't do. Thumps off the head of Malinaji. Khan, Khan's knockout shots look more convincing. Good, oh, good, Steve good Smoger stoppage stops. by Steve Smoger. Well done. <laughs> Referee Steve Smoger, really, he called timeout before the start of the last two rounds. Told Malinaji, I'm going to give you one more round. And it wasn't even from that sequence. It was some of the other punches before that. The winner by TKO victory and still WBA super lightweight champion of the world. From Bolton, Lancashire, England, Amir King Khan.